China's superiority in infrastructure is recognized both domestically and internationally. Once, products from this nation were considered low quality and imitative. But who would have thought? The Land of the Dragon now boasts various mega projects aimed at boosting its economy. Take the Hangzhou Bay Bridge, for instance, a marvel of engineering that connects the cities of Jiaxing and Ningbo. This incredibly lengthy bridge, in comparison, makes the longest bridge in Indonesia. The Suramadu Bridge, which stretches only 3.4 miles, seem modest. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge spans an impressive 22.2 miles. And to think, it was completed in just five years, despite being located between two rivers, and a bay that experiences the world's highest tidal range. Astonishing, right? Thanks to this bridge, the road distance between Ningbo and Shanghai has been cut from 248 miles to 111.8 miles, slashing travel time from 4 to 2 hours. The project demanded an investment of $1.7 billion USD to achieve this feat. Another example of China's commitment to infrastructure is the Shanghai Yangtze River Tunnel and Bridge. This unique combination of a bridge and a tunnel started in 2005 and was completed in 2009. The tunnel connects Pudong District in Shanghai with Changxing Island, while the bridge connects Changxing Island with Chongming Island, embodying a two-in-one concept. This mega project cost about 12.6 billion yuan or around $1.7 billion USD, which seems justified considering it built both a bridge and a tunnel, collectively stretching 15.8 miles. <music> Lastly, to ease mobilization, China constructed the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, linking the three major cities of Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau. Initiated in 2009, and completed in 2018, the construction took nine years. But considering its total length of 34.2 miles, making it the longest bridge in the world, the time spent is quite understandable. Indeed, it makes sense that such an endeavor took this amount of time. To achieve the construction of the longest bridge in the world, the nation led by Xi Jinping had to delve deep into its pockets spending a whopping of $17.7 billion USD. With such a colossal expenditure, this extraordinary human-made construction is designed to last for a whopping 120 years. When it comes to railways, the Land of the Dragon certainly deserves a round of applause. The renowned Beijing-Shanghai High Speed Railway is a prime example. Why famous, you ask? With a track stretching 819 miles, China proudly holds the title for the longest high-speed railway line in the world. Moreover, the Chinese public's positive reception of this transportation infrastructure has made the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway the busiest high-speed rail service worldwide. Just imagine this train transported 210 million passengers in 2019 alone. Speaking of timing, the construction of this rapid rail line began in 2008 and was completed by 2010. While its construction was swift, the budget was far from small. It's recorded that the nation spent 217.6 billion yuan or approximately 29.7 billion dollar USD. Recently, the China Ocean Shipping Company launched the world's largest super LNG tanker, named Wan Rui, in 2022. Just picture its size, 1,092 feet long and nearly 197 feet wide. Huge, right? Why construct such massive tankers? Clearly, to reduce shipping costs, a larger size means more crude oil can be carried, translating to cheaper shipping costs and more profitable distribution. Moreover, its fuel tank has a capacity of 3.5 million liters in a single fill, 
allowing the vessel to cover a distance of 27,741 miles. Not only that, but UN Rui also utilizes liquefied natural gas as fuel, proven to be extremely eco-friendly. Beijing International Airport Terminal and Chengdu Shuanglu Airport. As for airport infrastructure, the nation under Xi Jinping's leadership certainly doesn't play around. Case in point, Beijing International Airport Terminal stands as the world's second busiest airport. Just think, in 2022, it was reported to have accommodated as many as 32.6 million passengers in a year. Astonishing, isn't it? But what's even more mind-blowing is that the world's third busiest airport also hails from this nation. That airport is Chengdu Shuangliu Airport. It's a testament to how bustling this country really is. Particularly impressive is that this third busiest airport in the world can accommodate jumbo jets like the Boeing 747-400, allowing for a large number of passengers per flight. Similarly, Beijing's airport can handle wide-body aircraft such as the Airbus A380. Moving on to the Qinling Zhongnanshan Tunnel in Shanxi Province, China continues its efforts to build roads that significantly reduce travel time. Perhaps the government believes in the ideology that time is money Haha, uh -huh. this tunnel, initiated in 2002 and completed in 2007, cost 3.2 billion yuan or around $432 million USD. Pricey for a tunnel, but absolutely worth it for the benefits it delivers. Not only does it shorten journeys in Shanxi province, but this tunnel, stretching over 11 miles, also holds the title as the third longest tunnel in the world. The country's prowess is undeniable. But what really captures the attention is the tunnel's beauty, adorned with stunning lights and flowers along its sides. In terms of energy, recognizing its position as the world's second largest energy consumer, Xi Jinping's administration embarked on constructing an offshore drilling rig near Tianjin with an investment of $3 billion USD. Plans are in place to allocate a budget of $40 billion USD to boost oil and gas production off the coast of Tianjin. This is in response to the country's significant demand. With a $3 billion USD budget, a facility covering approximately 6.2 million square feet has been constructed. Furthermore, this massive mine is designed to produce up to 84,000 tons of natural resources annually. Additionally, this drilling rig promises high-quality docks. With mooring spaces extending over 5,148 feet, it can accommodate numerous ships, enhancing its operational capacity. 